We would like to take this time to talk about the generous people and businesses who have sponsored this event. A tremendous amount of work goes into any festival, virtual or live. We wouldn't have completed all the tasks without the help of Lucy Peckham of Both Ears Live Sound, who processed the audio for today's main stage performers. Richard Cooper of Frostline Studios, who produced some of the video and edited all the film clips together. Chad Coker and Jen Specht of Been and Had Ideas for Videography. Kevin Hall of K&H Graphics for our fabulous logo art and the poster, as well as our t-shirt design. And Penny Goodstein, Megan Green, and Sherry Sengel for videography. Thank you to all of our Irish Club board members who spent many long Zoom hours in the planning of this festival. And of course, our sponsors, Riley's Pub at 317 Fire Me Lane, Kate O'Dell, Arctic Siren Productions, Both Ears Live Sound Productions, Frostline Productions, Celtic Community of Alaska, and Scottish Club of Alaska. We hope that you will support our vendors, which include So Stuffed, Simply Susan, Timber and Tundra, Yule Farms LLC, and Brian Conway. You can find links to their um, work on our virtual vendor fair webpage. Our next performer is Claire Horgan. From a bilingual childhood steeped in the Irish language, song, and dance of her native village, the first music that this Kerry woman heard was traditional and the first songs were Sean Knows. As a small child performing alongside much older masters, these local songs seeped into her bones. Her adulthood saw her explore more modern musical genres when she took a postgraduate diploma in jazz in Leeds, West Yorkshire, leading her to live and perform in Belfast, London, Paris, and Beirut. But it was always the songs and stories of her childhood to which she returned. Claire has been this past year taken the U.S. by storm and continues to peddle her Sean Nose songs with pride. From Baton Rouge to Boston, Anchorage to Asheville, and Hell's Kitchen to Harlem. Claire has a new album on the way featuring Boston's very own Mark Simos while connecting regularly with key figures in the traditional Irish world, including New York's finest Brian Conway, Tony DeMarco, and Mick Malone. Liam O'Manley of Hot House Flowers has stated, Claire has a natural alignment with music and is a custodian of her native culture. Claire is also presenting a workshop entitled Traditional Irish Song in a workshop today. For more on Claire or to purchase her music, visit her at www.clairehorgan.com. Good evening and welcome to Ballon Skelligs, um, County Kerry in the southwest of Ireland in a peninsula called Ivara Peninsula or just off the Ring of Kerry, which might be better known. Um, we are just beneath Corcogaina or the Dingle Peninsula and above the Bearer Peninsula in West Cork. Um, I grew up in Waterville, County Kerry, which is seven or eight miles from where I live now, which is Ballon Skelligs or Balia on Skellig, the town of the Skelligs. You may be familiar with the Skelligs rocks, two fantastic rocks about an hour's boat journey from the point where I live in Ballon Skelligs. And it's a world heritage site. One of the islands is a world heritage site and the other is a gannet colony. Um, <clears throat> the first song that I'm going to do today is actually written about a trip, an annual trip that was taken out to the Skelligs to say Mass on the uh, patron saint's day, St. Michael, the patron saint of the Skell of Skellig the Heel or the Skelligs Rocks, now the patron saint of the town where the monks settled, the townland, which is Balia and Skellig or Balan Skelligs. So an attempted trip was made out to the rocks by Father Dermot O'Sullivan, or Father Dermot O'Sullivan, and uh, the songwriter Tomás Ro O'Sullivan. This was written in the early part of the 1800s. It describes a beautiful soft morning, or modern vog awling, where it was expected to be an easy trip, but suddenly a swell happened, a storm happened, and people on the boat feared for their lives. They were woken from their slumber, from their sleep, and... Uh, the priest, between the prayers of the priest and the good seamanship of the crew, they were saved. And in typical Irish fashion, with a little bit of religion, a little bit of drama, they finished the journey with a flagon of cider 
in Port McGee. <clears throat> so the name of the song, Modern Vogolin, you can see here, this is just the, uh, the footnote for a fantastic album, which will soon be, we hope, reprinted called Modern Vogolin. Modern Vogolin in Monash Gallog, the lake trail can afrin grover day. Diary gone to will rover so very good. Left far in the door the grey. The Vagni gun clue, Gosses old and Hassuda, a gem of uncool, a no scandarir. Nor a fake gun first to a small wound of is to shift me. Fee carry the moin, mark roin, extra the ruin. Er teach in the ball and north eve clay. Black none the ye mar har of ruin. Is our no near hasha? Than your own he Kerd male le he is a Christ. Nor kaluk shin is na for a shin sheep da in the agon farigo. Ach van a marish god di gun hama. Agus Rachem Nun Karik Lekum of Day Fianta Hir Dear Mud Gadin the Gagrid Erin an angle on Kruyak Sail The Hula Su Say Nuch the Farish nor a door, Chehan Padir, O Sark Jungle. Dog Lanemur Puin Tari Gilkarach, Vion Golin Hias Gamin Tash Kalamo. Near Stadamur Dench Grip, Ganaimur Don Halaho. August Olimer Flaggen Idik Jan Vike Kurumila Magri, thank you very much for listening. So my name is Claire Horgan, or in Irish Clore Ni Argoin, and I was born in Waterville, about seven miles from where I currently live. Um, I spent the first 22 or three years of my life living in Ireland, moved to England, where I studied jazz music, which I'm still very enamoured with. And it really wasn't until my 30s that I finally made it properly over to the States. And I've had a fantastic time there on my three trips there. And most recently, a trip um, which was part of, uh, sponsored by Culture Ireland. And thank you very much to Culture Ireland for that. My trip took me to Boston, to New York, and was due to take me to Alaska. Um, I really hope that I will be back again in the future. Most of the songs today I'll be singing are from my three albums. Um, the first two which are complete and the third one which is being currently under progress. So uh, the second song that I'd like to do for you today is a song in the English language written by a wonderful songwriter from Listowel County Kerry in the north of Kerry. It's called The Kerry Hills. It was a song that was made quite famous by a brilliant singer called Peggy Sweeney, who is still with us and doing very well. Um, it's written by Sean McCarthy of Listowel, who also wrote Shanna Golden and Keep Your Hands Off Red-Haired Mary, She and I Will Soon Be Wed. 
So the same fellow that wrote that wrote this song called The Kerry Hills. For me, it's one of the most beautiful songs. And according to the Cork people, we stole the air from their song, The Shandon Bells. This is on my new album, which will be hopefully coming out post pandemic later on in this year. <clears throat> It is with affection and recollection I oft times wander over memories haze In dreams of childhood by glen and wildwood Where I ran and reveled in my boyhood days but this fun memory is all excelling And in my bosom sadder thoughts instill Of the days so merry when we plucked wild berries On the verdant slopes of the Kerry Hills I have seen the Atlantic beat wild and frantic against the rocks of my Kerry shore, driven back defeated like hordes retreating in thunderous noise from my Kerry shore. But this fond memory all excelling and in my bosom sadder thoughts instill of the days so merry when we plucked wild berries on the verdant slopes of the Kerry Hills I wonder where schoolmates some are dead are afar of gone oh some lie weeping and more are sleeping to the lonesome notes of the west wind song but this fond memory is all excelling and in my bosom Sadder thoughts instill of the day so merry when we plucked wild berries on the verdant slopes of the Kerry Hills. Thank you very much for listening. That was a song called The Kerry Hills by Sean McCarthy. This is a song, um, as we call it in Irish, an hour on mar, or a lively song. And it's a song that was written um, about an area very close to where I grew up in Waterville called the Inni Valley, or Drummond, or Barnahina, which is the top of the Inni Valley. I've been singing songs about this area for years. I've been travelling through the area very quickly on the way to trains that I've almost missed or succeeded in missing. It's kind of a shortcut through the mountains where you might meet a whole load of sheep, lots and cows, and very few people, if any, and usually tourists hiking and three or four houses on a 30 mile uh, trip. So it is not a place to break down and get a puncture in your car. But anyway, this is a song about um, a gentleman who is a farmer in this area, and he laments the loss of uh, some of his cows. And he is convinced that they've been stolen by a neighbor a neighbor um it's actually called bona la Hayerka, which is uh, a cow with one horn so the one horn cow but it is uh also talks about sheep quite a lot as well it's kind of a fun song it's a song we learned as children but it is sung quite a lot by some brilliant shano singers um male and female especially in kerry so i'm going to accompany myself on the guitar for this so you bear with me and this song is um features on my new album and um, which features a, a gentleman called jerry o'byrne backing me on four of the tracks so far there's four complete 
and uh, he's a wonderful accompanist and who knows um i think there'll be a mixture of accompanists on the on the rest of the album but uh he does a beautiful job of that Again, so bo is the word, of course, for a cow, and a kira is a sheep. So um, we've covered a kind of a slow Irish song, uh, a lively Irish song, a slow English song. So now I'm uh, thinking that a song I could do now would be another English song. It's slow, but it's an extremely lovely song. It's from the Carstavine area. It was written by a gentleman who was born in Cork, reared in Kerry and worked in Dublin. Um, he wrote some fantastic poems and songs um, about tinkers and a really wonderful, colourful writer. Um, he's no longer with us. Um, a gentleman called Sigerson Clifford. This is one of the traditional Irish songs written originally in English and kept in English. And it's one of those that's sung a lot, but it's still really very much loved by musicians, even musicians who sing it on a very regular basis. So we're very proud that it's from our area, Carcevine, 10 miles from where I am now. <clears throat> the last line, when the boys of Borna Sroida went hunting for the ran. And uh, if you can... When the boys of Borna 
went hunting farther on. Just try that with me. When the voice of Barnus Rhoda went hunting farther on. You may change the key there. Oh, the town it climbs the mountain and looks upon the sea. In sleeping time or wake, it's there I long to be. To walk again those kindly streets where first my life began. With the boys of born Schroeder who hunted far the run. With cudgel stout we roamed about to hunt the gates rolling. We searched for birds in every first from litter to do We jumped for joy beneath the sky. Life held no print nor plan for the boys of Bor Nisroida who hunted far the run. And when the hills were bleeding and the rifles were aflame, to the rebel homes of Kerry, the Saxon strangers came. But the men who dared the oxies and who fought the black and tans were the boys of Borne Schroeder who hunted for the run. So here's a health to them tonight, the lads who laughed with me. By the groves of Carron River, or the slopes of Beanity, John Dolly and Bat and he, the Sheehan's Con and Dad, were the boys of Borne Schroeder, who hunted for the ram. But now they toil on foreign soil, where they have gone their way. Deep in the heart of London town, or over on Broadway. And I am left to sing their deeds, and to praise them while I can. Those boys of Born Schroeder, who hunted for the run. And when the wheel of life comes down and peace comes over me, oh, lay me down in that old town between the hills and sea. I'll take my sleep in those green fields where first my life began with the boys of Born Schroeder, who hunted for the run. Thank you very much. So that was from the writing of Sigerson Clifford. Took it a little bit high there at the start, so I had to bring it down. <laughs> so um, I think now I'm going to sing a song. I, I've often sing songs about politics and, and love of place. And that particular last song was it was political, of course, because it talks about the hills were bleeding and the rifles. It talks about the Civil War. It talks about the War of Independence. It talks about conflict, really. But it, it can be seen also as a huge love of place song and an emigration song, which, of course, is a subject that's very close to our hearts in Ireland. Um, so this song is a song that has a lot of resonance for me as a woman and a woman living in a very isolated, rural, if very beautiful place. And when I heard it first through a choir that I was part of for a while and maybe back with them again, um, called Cor Coule or Cor Bon Coule from West Cork, um, I was um, very lucky to pay a visit to an island called Inishi Griscoil or Hare Island, H-E-I-R Island, um, with a group to perform at an art gallery. 
and very late in the night, of course, before or after the, the night's performance, I don't remember, um, some fantastic ladies sang this song, the Curtin Sisters and Marnie Kaleher sang this wonderful song. And um, it can be seen, I suppose, as a very sad song. I tend to see it a little bit tongue in cheek. It's a song called Tom Curraha of Emmanuel Im Lee. I am weary of lying alone, or weary of laying alone, which is kind of a, a mixture of Irish and English. This actually is a song that was um, brought over from England. It was written in English and it's macaronic, so it's every second verse is in Irish or English in, in the original form. And uh, I'm going to probably just do start it with a verse in Irish to a verse in English. I'm going to shorten it a little bit. And you can join me in the last line of each verse, which is I am weary from lying alone, alone. I am weary from lying alone. Or Tom Carovem Wainer and Liam Lee. Tom Carovem Wainer and Lee. So that's your refrain. I know you've got that. One evening of late, as I carelessly strayed, I spied a fair maid. In deep mourn, I asked her the matter. She quickly made answer, I am weary from lying alone, alone. I am weary from lying alone. Is a warning thou dealish, sig on so teflon. Agus a herish gael dum mertish. Ah, who I guess a shay is a sorrow gone. O Willem Carovem Wainer and Liam Lee. Go Willem Carovem Wainer and Lee. Ta roshin branet the sorghordin shateflum. A winner miss den the mei. Nu garog yard and tele. Come make shake or trechta. Lesham ni a ta in a hener nuli in a lee. Lesham ni a ta in a hener nuli. If I could find a neat, sweet little man who would take me without fortune and make me a wife of his own, the truth I'll declare that I'll die in despair if I lie any longer alone, alone, if I lie any longer alone. There's a neat, sweet little flower in the garden alongside me. Ah, take her away and make her your own. For the flower it will fade, and so also the maid, who is weary from leaving alone, alone, who is weary from leaving alone. I am weary from leaving alone. And that was actually collected by Bess Cronin, the grandmother of three of the sisters, the Cronin sisters, who are great fun and wonderful singers from Coulee, Ballyvourney area in West Cork, and who, along with Marnie Kelleher, gifted me that song. Well, I stole it from them. I don't know if it's a gift, but... Hopefully they, they they gave it to me willingly. Just going to consult my list because I'm running out of time and I think we're going to just have time for one more. So this song is a song called 
well, it's got a couple of different names. The Cookery Song from Car Savine is the first um, title um, that comes to mind for me. It's also called You Can't Boil Potatoes in Car Savine. This song was written as a send up of a very serious uh, situation that uh, a number of women experienced in the town of Car Sabine, and I suppose from the outlying areas as well. It was 1906 and these ladies wanted to take a cookery class to, I suppose, expand their cooking repertoire or maybe learn a little bit more about cooking. And I'm sure they were already very good cooks. And they went in very innocently and they signed their names on the register. And of course, they were called Moira Ni Hulavon or Courtney Hay or Clorney Argoin or uh, Eileen Ni Honucha. And uh, they were immediately told to get out of the class because they had signed their names in Irish. And of course, we were under British rule fully all 32 counties until the early 20s and uh, 1920. So we had you know, a serious situation where the language was being suppressed quite seriously. And the ladies, some of them didn't know their own names in, in English because they didn't use them and they spoke Irish as a first language, perhaps the only language they spoke. And so the lady who was the, uh, I suppose, the employee, the state employee at the time, which was under British uh, rule, um, they took her to a tribunal of the Libraries Board, which is a forerunner of the Education Board that exists now, which is called ETB. It was called KES for a while. It was called VEC. But anyway, it was the Education Board for secondary and further education. And I don't think she was fired from her job, but she was certainly moved to some kind of quiet co county where the women weren't so feisty. So um, there's a chorus to this. O hon shame of Rona Lagona Lilu. That's the only bit of Irish you have to learn. O hon shame of Rona Lagona Lilu. The fats in the fire, we're all in a stew. If you call yourself Morda or caught your Eileen, you won't boil potatoes in car O e slam a horde is pronach muskel. That vulgar invention called chang and ngel has altered the temper and ruffled the mien of a charming young lady from Car Sivin. O chon shame of Rona Lagona Lilu. The fats in the fire, we're all in a stew. If you call yourself Morda or caught your Eileen, you won't bake pancakes in Carsivine. Those names should be kept in their places, you know. In the hills and the bogs with the vulgar and low. They shouldn't be spoken or uttered or seen in the presence of gentry in Car Sivine. O hon shame of Rona Lugona Lilu. The fats in the fire, we're all in a stew. If you call yourself Morda or caught your Eileen, you won't find a husband in Car Sivine. These rude Gaelic leaguers alone have the cheek. Though they seem fine and gentle enough till they speak. To bring in philology flavoured with spleen. And mix it with pastry in Car Sivine. O hon shame of Rona Lugona Lilu. There's one thing I almost forgot to tell you. If you call yourself Morda or caught your Eileen, you can frizzle a shoney in Car Thank you.
I should have explained that a shonin is a derivative of the word jackin, which is a way we talk about some, we talk about the dubs, especially when they're beating us in football, which sadly over the last while, they just won the five in a row last year. So we're very proud of our football in Kerry and the dubs beat us. So the jackins, they got that name from King John because they were under, I suppose they were under the uh, the spell of uh, British rule a bit, bit longer than the rest of us and uh, not politically, but I suppose emotionally. And the dubs would disagree with me on this, of course. Um, so uh, the pale, the area around Dublin, um, where Dublin Castle was, was seen as quite a, an English area. And so frizzle, obviously, is to deep fat fry and a shonin is um, anyone who uh, has, shows allegiance to king, the king and at the time it was King John, not Queen Elizabeth or the British monarch at the moment. So um, I think that fairly much completes my uh, presentation. Just want to uh, reach over here. And these are my two albums. The first one is an album that I made uh, when I was, I wasn't as young as I am on the front cover. I was three there and I won't tell you what year that was. It's called The Stolen Child, but I, it was it was made a, a quite a while ago, about 20 years ago. And it's a mixture of Shanos unaccompanied, Shanos accompanied, um, a fusion of a Shano song um, and, and the, well, it's a, it's a Shano song called An Lan of She or The Stolen Child. And it has an arrangement by a wonderful Scottish um, Celtic jazz guitarist with a full band. So um, and there's some straight ahead jazz standards on that. The second one is a, an album called Aware of the Water, and that is a mixture of traditional songs in English and some country and bluegrass. The new album that's under construction at the moment um, is Songs from the Hills of Kerry and it has its Shano songs. So far the songs have been accompanied um, but there will definitely be uh, at least a half a dozen songs totally unaccompanied. I hope that you've enjoyed listening to me tonight. Tasulagum gur vwinshiv tanav as um, naharon as ivrahig agus as korkig agus as on Sosna. I hope you enjoyed the songs from South Kerry, from West Cork and even from a traditional folk song from England that came across to Ireland and was partly translated. So uh, thank you again to Peggy Monaghan, um, to Enzina Marari for coming to this area and opening my eyes to Alaska, for Lisa Maloney for the late night calls. For all of you for listening, it's been wonderful to um, perform for you. And uh, I leave you um, and hope that you have a fantastic Galway Days Festival. Gormil Malgrave, Colossal, thank you very much.